Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your tarot reading, Pisces, I do want to get into the shell readings. Uh, I wanted to go a little bit deeper into your readings. Um, as you guys know, we recently went through a solar eclipse, and now we're going to be going through a lunar eclipse. So this brings a lot of changes, a lot of transitions in our life, and not just on our everyday life. But this also speaks about globally. As you guys can see, everything that we've been experiencing, the uprising, uh, a lot of a lot of unrest. So let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2020. Spirits, what are the messages? What are the messages for Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Pisces, I see you guys walking towards a new a new perspective or a new idea, a new beginning. For some of you guys, this could be taking on uh, a different path, uh, something very different that you have yet to experience. And this is connected uh, not just spiritually, but this is also connected in the way you make money or how you've been making money up until now. Uh, it could be through circumstance, um, kind of like being surrounded by like-minded people that uh, you guys share ideas or toss ideas around and it actually comes or becomes uh, something that is like a project or some type of business. Um, and I actually do see you guys taking on that new opportunity. And I actually do see it becoming a blessing to, to you guys. So it's almost like a hidden blessing or an unexpected blessing because it comes through unexpected circumstances. Um, also, I do see connections connections with family members. For some of you guys, if you have children, it could be that this month of July is going to be very important to maintain that bond or that connection uh, to really put effort in spending time or quality time, I should say, with your children. Um, I see especially those of you guys that have younger children, I do see them really wanting or having the need to connect with you on a deeper level, whether it's just to, like I said, um, quality time or to actually uh, be able to connect with you on an emotional level. Um, now, I don't need to tell Pisces. I know Pisces have a tendency of being very loving mothers or loving fathers, but it is necessary to be present. And what I mean by present is not just being there physically, but to actually be present in the moment. Um, whether they come to you and they're showing you something that they did, a drawing or something. Uh, I'm hearing kind of like, are you proud of me type of thing. And what, what Spirit is saying is encouraging words and loving words go a very long way. Especially when we're molding our children, you know, to become uh, the, the young adults of the future. So that's very, very important. Um, now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I do see a person circling back around, and this is a person from your past. Um, and what they're saying is this was a connection, not necessarily like you guys were not necessarily in a long-term relationship, but what they're saying is that you both were kind of feeling each other, very into each other, and for some reason, it's like almost like your paths kind of separated. Uh, it could have been timing was uh, not ideal at that point in time. And I see them coming back around like they have their life more together or they're really wanting or searching for something that is more long lasting. So they're able to put more effort and more uh, energy into this connection. So I do see them coming back around and trying to communicate with you. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be a fire energy, uh, Aries Sagittarius or Leo for others of you this could be um, this could be an air sign uh, Gemini Aquarius or Libra so just keep that in mind all right let's get into your tarot cards Pisces let's see what spirit has for you guys okay spirits what are the messages for Pisces Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of July 2020, Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of July 2020. Sorry if you guys hear fireworks in the background or people just being loud. Um, unfortunately, we're not yet on the 4th of July. 
and we've been hearing fireworks for the past month. So I apologize for that. Also, I do want to let you guys know that we actually do have um, the lunar eclipse that's going to be happening on the 4th of July. Uh, with this, uh, the moon will highlight anything that has been suppressed or hidden. So be careful with secrets. Be careful with double dealing for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship and have a tendency of either communicating with other people. Um, you don't want to be dealing with those type of consequences right now, uh, as well as having Saturn in the house of Capricorn. We also have Pluto, major transformations, major changes, death and rebirth, new beginnings. Uh, we also have Jupiter that is a bit de uh, debilitated with Saturn being there, but nonetheless, it is the blessing planet um, and the moon, like I said. So a lot of, a lot of uh, heavy water type of energy as well as uh, transformations and changes when it comes to finances, when it comes to careers, when it comes to government and politics, uh, power, all of that, which is why we're seeing all these, you know, this unrest that everyone's experiencing right now. Okay, spirits, what are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of July 2020? Okay. All right, Pisces, you have the Four of Cups, the Empress card, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the King of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups. Wow, a lot of water energy, like I said. The Magician, the Seven of Wands, the lovers and the wheel of fortune okay so right at the center we do have the magician card and the magician is that of the manifestations that of bringing towards you what you most think about be careful when it comes to uh what's constantly on your mind try not to focus on the negative as an example if um, you're going through some situation and you're constantly thinking or wondering that it's going to go the negative way or that you know the results are going to be negative um you're kind of calling that into fruition so be careful with with that type of energy especially because like i said we do have pluto in the sign of capricorn so heavy water energy um as well as major transformation here so what they're saying is you're being able to detach yourself from what's current what's happening right now and you're able to kind of push through towards the future uh being able to create that link and make that future come towards you in a quicker way um of course if you're thinking negatively then guess what negative things are going to start to show up so just be very mindful about that again we do see uh some type of connection where they kind of walked away from this connection or you walked away um and there were some things that were left either unsaid or undone. I feel this wasn't necessarily a relationship. It could have been just someone that you were, like I said, you were feeling and they were feeling you as well. I see them coming back around and I see them more open. I see them more, they are emotionally available to you. So that's very positive because this is speaking to me about emotions are much more mature than they were when you were first dealing with this person and they're coming towards you with an offering or some type of gesture some type of love gesture now what they're telling you here with the seven of wands pisces it's very important to speak up it's very important for you to get your message or your communication across as clearly as possible this could even be for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship where you feel like um where you feel like every time you communicate or you express your feelings like your partner doesn't necessarily take it in a positive way they kind of feel like it's in a judgmental way uh and they feel very guarded and now that inevitably is making you feel like you got to be very guarded about the way you communicate or express yourself and what they're telling you is express yourself be honest be completely transparent you have the right to express how you're feeling and this is not just in partnerships this can also represent at work this can also represent at you know in school uh if you're going to college if, if there there's almost like 
you're taking on this passive energy and you're not known for that pisces so don't let people you know try to take the shine away from you or don't allow them to diminish your light speak your truth stand up for what you believe in um you know really embrace who you are and don't be i don't want to say I don't want to say don't be intimidated because I don't feel like it's intimidation. I feel that it's more shyness on your part or you don't want to come across a certain way. But what they're saying here is that for the month of July, it's going to be very important for you to declare what it is that you want, to declare what it is that you expect, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in business, whether it's at work, at school, really express what you are expecting or what you're wanting um, and like I said, don't shy away from being who you are, your authentic self. That's very important. You do have the lover's card here with the wheel of the year and the three of wands with the magician right at the center. And then we have the, t the ace of cups. So I see love coming towards some of you guys, those of you guys that have been single or are currently single. I do see opportunities to connect for some of you guys. Like I said, it could be an air sign, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. For others of you, it could be a water energy, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Pisces, like yourself, um, Aries, like I said, or a Gemini. So what they're saying here is that this person that's coming towards you could be a bit younger than you. For some of you guys, it could be like two, three years younger than you, um, but they're really going to blow your socks off. It's almost like you give them the opportunity and you start to get to know them and the more you get to know them they really are showing you that they're like perhaps much more mature than yourself or even the people that you're used to dealing with uh, this is a person that knows exactly what it is that they want and they're not scared to making to making that known um, now like i said for others of you i do i do see a person coming from the past that perhaps didn't nothing really came from that connection but i do see that you guys were interested and i think timing was something that we have the six of pentacles and that's exactly what the shells showed it's almost like timing was off but finally synchronization and the universe is kind of conspiring to bring you guys together again because i i do see this person being open being emotionally open and ready for a relationship so definitely beautiful reading pisces all right, let's see what Spirit's final messages are for you guys for this month of July 2020, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The month of July 2020. Final messages for Pisces. Final messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, okay, we have... Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So a lot of opportunities, uh, like we mentioned with the shell readings, opportunities that are coming towards you that are unexpected. It's almost like you're not really seeking them. Uh, they just happen to come out or come towards you or people speak to you about a new business, a new idea that actually turns into something um, within the business structure that is actually going to render you more prosperity and more abundance. Now, your next card here is have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon, beautiful energy. And this is the energy that I was sensing with the shells. What they're saying here is have faith in what you're wanting to bring towards you. Remember, you guys, to keep your negative self-talk in check. Do not focus on what's gone wrong in your life. Um, focus more on what you're trying to bring towards your life release that type of energy with this lunar eclipse if anything let go of any resentments let go of any wrongdoings that people have done for you done to you not for your sake sorry not for their sake but for your sake so that you can release that type of energy and be vibrating to the highest of your frequency if those of you guys that are on a new path towards either getting some type of projects uh or even diving into a new beginning, whether it's going back to college, whether it's getting a new, um, some type of higher learning for others of you, even changing careers. If that's really what you feel you must do at this present time, then do it. Spirit is behind you and they're guiding you. They're telling you if you're not happy where you're at, it's time to make a move. Stop procrastinating and take action. 
All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope um, that with this lunar eclipse, it brings to you guys more uh, new energy, the clearing out of old energy and the embrace of new beginnings. I wish you guys the very best. Stay safe, and we will see each other soon. Till then, blessings and happy lunar eclipse.